Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very interesting and very important problem for uh, JE advanced type of exam. Uh, such question can come. It is from Pathfinder. Here is the problem statement. A point like uh, radioactive sample decay constant lambda initially at a distance of R0 from radiation counter it starts moving towards the counter. If the count number recorded by the counter remains constant with time, uh, then uh, express speed of uh, radioactive sample as a function of time. So it's a very easy problem and I think uh, most of you should be able to solve it. So please let me know in the comment section if you are getting the right answer for it. And uh, uh, such question can definitely come in J means J advanced both type of exam. So here this is the situation at t equal to zero. Let's say initially n not number of uh, uh, <coughs> radioactive nuclei are present, and this sample point like sample is moving with a speed of v. That speed we have to vary in such a way that this recorder. Uh, which will record number of uh, uh, decay reaching at it per second. So uh, here, uh, since it is behaving like a point uh, source, so idea will come from waves or optics that uh, per unit time here, number of decay per second I can write or activity that is initial activity is lambda n naught. So now this lambda n naught, it will be uh, in all possible directions so we can use concept of solid angle or you can say for point source uh, the way we used to solve in similar fashion we can say here uh, so per unit uh, at a distance of r these wave fronts you can say these wave fronts will be spherical so at a distance of r from the source uh, this uh, number will be uh, lambda n naught because it is going to be same everywhere it is going to be same in every sphere so here i can write this number is going to be lambda n naught by 4 pi r square for a sphere of radius r now uh, let's say this detector uh, or recorder has a area of a so if we multiply this uh, with number a these many radioactive decay it is going to measure and they are saying in the problem that it remains constant with time it doesn't change with time so this is the initial recording or initial reading similarly at any time t uh, when this distance is r and the sample uh, strength has become n so now in this case i can write this uh, minus dn by dt or activity at uh, any time t i can write it as uh, lambda n so now this distance has become small r so new recording here I can write uh, lambda n by 4 pi r square times a by using the previous logic and here velocity I can write as minus dr by dt since this number and this number remains same that means initial reading and uh, final reading or reading at any time t remains same so we will equate these two uh, reading at t equal to 0 and reading at t equal to t so I am going to get uh, r as a function of time t from here which comes as r is square is equal to r naught square into e to the power minus lambda t or I can say r is equal to r naught e to the power minus lambda t by 2 so now I am going to differentiate this or differentiate this relation both ways you can differentiate this or you can just differentiate this itself so 2r dr by dt r naught square e to the power minus lambda t times minus lambda so from here this minus dr by dt i can write it as r naught square lambda by 2r e to the power minus lambda t so now i can substitute this value of r as a function of time t and if i simplify I am going to get this velocity v which is lambda naught r naught by 2 e to the power minus lambda t by 2 this is going to be the final answer uh, for this problem it's a very simple problem uh, you all must get this uh, answer so I found it uh, quite uh, uh, relevant for JE advance exam so that's the reason I made a video on this so if you have enjoyed this discussion if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like share it uh, with the others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it